back. Um, I'm gonna show you my system. I guess so. I've just gone for every single one of these. So apparently this one. Okay, that's weird. Uh, please tell me did you do that was yeah I did but didn't do that one okay well I've gone for all these and all these <laughs> as you can see all of these and it's meant for almost like 20 minutes <laughs> going for all of these and these images are normally done themselves just so I can actually show you guys this so and so they scale see they they scale quite nicely obviously there's a point where you just don't scale the object and things get really distorted, but I mean, like, come on, this is 16 by 9. It's normally this is probably a normal resolution ish. That's that's like my MacBook kind of site screen, maybe a bit smaller. So now, probably it's like, oh, that's really small, but maybe you're saying, but yeah, so if I may make it maximize just to show you, I mean, that's like a bit bigger than my screen, obviously. Uh, I mean, a bit smaller than my screen. We have some errors, apparently. <laughs> oh, I know what the errors are. <laughs> Don't worry. It's the errors come down to me turning off things because I was working on the ability system. So one big thing about the system is that you gotta keep a few things open, and the first thing you need to keep open is your shop window. That's at all times, and there will be no errors. So we actually have items here. Oh, they look like they're a little mixed up. Like as you see, this doesn't really fit in well. Could be that the text is not aligned. So I just get these component and we can just use copy as component. Come over here, paste the component, and you can move it back into space. Which can be this um like this and it's not exactly right, but it should be enough. Actually, I think it's pretty perfect. Now that's a little better. So you see, we got test time here, and we obviously can press Q. We just can click them too, as you can see, and that perfectly works. And they tick down over time. Now, if we want how we display them is totally up to us. Um, so if we want to display them differently, we can. And obviously we have our full selling system. Now what we're going to do today is how to build up our system for abilities so we can actually have levels in our abilities. So we can actually upgrade our abilities. So let's talk about this. Do -do. Uh, I'm sure it's like something. So we are level. Let's go to ability 1. So we give it a level. And what we want to do is actually want to check our current level. So if our current level, because if we say you're level 3 in this ability, what we'd actually do is we'd say you're level 1, you're level 2, you're level 3. Yeah, so what we do is we have a case of 0. So this is level 0. And all we do is we say um, activate is equal to false. Alright. Um, because this is constantly going to be going. So if we want the ability to be, to be different, we actually got to have something called um, abilities ready, right? Now we don't actually have this under anything else but here. So we actually don't even have that there. So we actually have it here. We can make this a private variable. So we can make this a boolean called um see what we can actually do. Why don't we just do this? If we just check and our ability level is greater than zero. So if we start the game, you'll see, should see one of these turn on. I got no clue why these aren't turning on. Um, ability level. Damn, let's maximize. Oh, we shouldn't go for the level applied. We should actually go through the. Ah, uh, I see. Because we've done it really, really. We shouldn't have a level applied. We should just have level.
Um, so you see, as you see, this little green thing lights up. Now, before we do any of this, let's actually build something so we can see, have a little window that pops up, maybe, right? Or something, just so we can actually select which abilities we want. So in each ability, we can have something called an upgrade slot. So it's just going to be upgrade, it's just going to be a little button, not text. It's a little button. It's just going to have a... Uh, we could give it text of like a plus sign or whatever. Or we could just give it a texture of plus. I think I'm, I'm just going to give it. Uh, we could give it maybe 30, 30, like this, and put it right in the middle. Yeah, we're just going to put it right in the middle. Oh, that's a 9, and then, uh, like this, and 65. This is what it's going to look like, then we're going to copy this. The same over here. I think 85 is fine here. Alright, and then we go 0 obviously, and then we do the same with all these. So we just go this to here. Get this to 0 and 85. Then we do the same here. Zero and eighty-five. Do the same over here. Do the same but over here. Each time, just making zero. I'm uh, making this zero. So you see, we've got this little button across all of them. And we do want to select all these. Make sure the z axis is on zero. As you can see, and that's going to be what it looks like. Now let's make a plus sign. We're just going to make this ourselves. Why don't we? I mean, it doesn't hurt us. And it's just going to probably be a 48 by 48 image of a plus. It's just going to be very simple. A plus. Uh, yes. I mean, there's no plus thing that we can just have. So what we can actually just do is just get this. Make it like one. Find the middle, which is, um, I mean, this is 48, right? So, I mean, the middle would be like 24. Yes, so 23 and 25. Since this is zero, wait, zero, so, and this is 47, so that means 48, just 24, but 23, so it's actually more like this, actually. Oh, so, oops. And so we go here, we see this is uh, 23 pixels. And we go here, this is 22 pixels. Maybe marked it up. It's not definitely there. It's like this is 23 pixels and 24 pixels. So, oh, it's just 2 and that's why. It's because it's 23 here. And it's 23 over here. So what we do is we should make this go down right right down to the bottom. And like this. And then what we do is we now we have to find the middle. And now because it's 48, we just find 23 pixels down, like here. And we find this is 24 pixels down, so it's actually these two, so. This this is our uh, thing. So we just do this, and then we just do this on either side. Let me just go straight like this, and like this, like this, and like this. So that's our cross. I think it's a little big, so we're just going to shave off these sides. Like this going to make it a bit thicker, right? Quite easy, just add one to each side and you just go up like this and go down. It's a bit too much. We go here, go over here, and back, and here, and over here. Now we actually want to have some nice colors, so why don't we just choose a nice red? 
It's gonna be like this, and we're just gonna color it red like that. And then we could choose a nice green, maybe for this. It's like that, just like a Christmas present thing. Okay, so upgrade. And it looks awful, but right now I'm happy with it. And I just made it just then. I know uh, we've got a modeler who can do a bunch of this stuff. Uh, no, it's actually not one today. There, it's meant to go. Documents, assets, images, UI stuff. It's actually, I know he can do a bunch of stuff, but I like doing it. I feel it's good. Uh, for me to do some, because I'm really bad at it, so I like, and I like doing it, so it's fun. Yeah. Nice you gotta do like this. They all could upgrade and they all have a US byte, not anymore. I don't know if it was actually updated, so we've got images, UI stuff. And what's it called? Um it's a spite now. It's got point this like this. So it looks like this. And then what we can do is then we can go back to all the upgrade buttons. Just put like this. And then we can change this to upgrade. So all like that, like that. All right. Now the animation for them to pop up. That's just animation. All right. It's not easy. It's not too hard. Right. Um, so we're going to select all these and we're going to make them not visible and visible again. Not visible and visible again. Right? Obviously. So let's go write a script. So under our stats screen, that most likely will be how we handle it. Yes. If we got our player stats, this is most likely going to be head work. Because we got a level. But we don't actually have XP. So how do we do this? We can call one called experience. Or XP. Go. We can add that ourselves. Um, and what we can do is we can do something called a... We don't actually have an update. Maybe an ability manager because we've got an update here. If we also want to have it's our level, right? So when our level, we can boost our level up. So if stats, I think it's called player stats, maybe. You know we don't have any stats, so we have stats dot stat instance dot file stats inspector of stats dot stat dot experience dot to string. Uh, if that's equal to zero, this so if the experience is greater than the previous experience so how it works is that we have a little calculation so what we do is we say the stats that stat instance the level uh, times by 10 times by a default so that means this is a very short man experience but obviously it's different right so it exponentially goes up per level so if the experience is greater than the current experience needed which is start needed so we experience and then we also got um so like needed experience, which is how much experience we actually need to get in the next level. Now, we want it to grow. So if it starts off being 100, 
That means next time it, we want to be like 400. So we want it to be the current experience of the last level. So we want to have a same good old experience. Like this. So here we go. It's greater than old um, stats dot stat instance dot final stats vector of stats dot stat dot experience of um, experience and that's old experience um, times by 10 so each level the experience will be increased by 10% 10, 10 times so the old experience should never change unless the level so the old experience will eventually be 0 and then I'll make it 100 and then I'll make it whatever alright will be 10 so there's 10 experience to get to the first level so, so we made a, a small amount of experience I don't know how we're gonna make it work but still let's go um, if that's then what we want to do is basically go stats that stat instance dot level and what we want to do is basically want to increment level by how much by one. Then we just want to say, um, we just want to have a public integer, uh, unused points. And we want to say unused points plus plus. And this we go while unused points is greater than zero so right you actually have points then let's actually make the little things pop up so what we're going to do is we're going to have a public array of game objects and we're going to call these our uh, upgrades buttons this one we're going to say the upgrade buttons uh, upgrade buttons I just want to go this if statement here. I is less than uh unused points. Uh, I is less than actually upgrade bonds dot length. I plus plus. Okay, come on, computer. Work with me here. And then we want to go upgrade bonds of I dot set active true else if um of zero dot active self so if any of them is active then what we do is we go for int i Upgrade, oh, same thing actually. So we could just do this, then just go edge copy this, and then we can just go false. So the reason we're checking zero is we could check any of them, but we always just didn't check the first one. Now your passive is automatically going to be upgraded, automatically, um, unless we make it so you don't. So right now, obviously, it will be not but if we want to upgrade your own abilities that's up to us and up to the abilities to what level they start at so you see under ability one this says its ability level is equal to one so that means it starts all the way up to level one which means what happens if i get to level 100 and yeah there's nothing to buy so in each one of these if they're active when we want to check we want to check if um Oh, well, it, we should probably do something like check whether or not you have enough upgrades, but that will mark up with our zero thing, so we won't do that. 